Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of change. With 2021 just around the corner, it's important that we reflect on positive changes we like to make in the new year. Change is inevitable and vital for our growth and evolution. The truth is, most of us avoid change because it's uncomfortable and unfamiliar. We are conditioned to believe that change is bad when in fact, change is the only thing that can improve our lives for the better. What are some positive changes you'd like to make in 2021? Do you wanna get up earlier, become more assertive, find your dream job? Whatever that goal is, make it your mission today to commit to making that goal a reality. Make a game plan on what you want to accomplish, what actions you would need to take to make it happen, and of course, a timeline on when you can realistically make that goal happen. 2021 is the perfect time to make these goals you've always want manifest. From all of us here at Tag TV, I'd like to wish you a prosperous 2021 filled with good luck, love, abundance, and good health. Stay tuned coming up after the break. Yeah, your artwork is definitely very unique. I was lucky enough to receive one of your paintings, very large painting. And you know, when I was looking at it close up, it's so intricate and beautiful. Um, you really put a lot of detail and it's very unique. Those large eyed characters are very unique to you. And you definitely have a really unique. Lots of my inspiration came from the trip, from the trip I did and like, uh, yeah, from yeah. the, the kids very much the kids the kids are like you know they are still like very unpure and like untainted by the like a uh, expectation and the kind of hardships of the real life next up on the show we have boli blast who is a contemporary artist based in the uk boli's paintings showcase wide-eyed characters looking back at the viewer holding a mirror to modern society symbolizing to open your eyes and look at the world around you Boli, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Thank you for ha having me here. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. I've been enjoying the holidays, taking it easy a little bit, and I'm really excited. It's New Year's Eve. 2021 yeah. is just around the corner, and you know it's been a weird year, but it's been a year of growth, which is good. So I'm happy yeah. about that. How has your year been? Yes, it's been good. I mean, I did so much this year. I mean, it, do, it, yeah, some things just went a bit slow uh, because of the pandemic, obviously. But uh, it's been been a good year, and I stayed uh, quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I'm quite keen to see what the new year brings. And uh, happy Hogmanay to you. And yeah, uh, thank you. Happy new year soon. Yes, thank you, thank you. You know what, you've had a great year though. You've had a successful year. Let's talk about your art. You're a successful artist. When did you realize your love for art? Well, I guess I did when I was like around three or four years old. I did start like with my um, art. Uh, I think at that time it was just like a small art. So it wasn't like a, what I do now. So it was small pictures and uh, I would draw like on the walls of my house as well. So my dad quite liked that. It was mm -hmm. like a small graffiti stuff in the house. I yeah. did a lot of that. Uh, I did some DIY as well with my dad because he was quite good at DIY. So, so uh, you know, both of my pa parents like encouraged uh, my art and my growth. And then, and then I um, did some art classes as well. Um, like a proper art classes and um, I found it quite bo boring because uh, each class we were like uh, so this week we, we're going to paint like the landscapes and then the next week we're going to the po portraits and stuff like that and mm -hmm. um, I quite like to paint like you know just things that come to my mind I yeah. kind of like doing my own thing so um, yeah and then um, so I, I did, did stick with the art for years and years, but uh, what I'm doing now, the big eyes that I do now, it just came like a few years back when I came back from my big uh, trip and uh, it's just I just got inspired by uh, all I saw on the trip and all the pe people I met. So mm -hmm. I just found it uh, to be such a great uh, inspiration and uh, that was great, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah uh, I 
We've been talking about the difficulties of this pandemic, you know. How did art help you through this pandemic, you know, with your mental health, of course? Yeah, oh, I think art is great. I mean, I get uh, I get quite stressed with things. I mean, when there is lots of things to do, like, um, you know, arranging exhibitions and uh, shipping and stuff. So there's a lot of things that make me stressed, but um, art's great for that because I paint when I paint. I'm just by myself in the room, I paint. And I'm just like, uh, it's this uh, mindfulness. It's just like being right there in the moment moment with no distractions uh, you know i don't have like phone with me or anything i just paint and uh, it's it's it is so good for me it like calms me down and uh, it's just uh, art is great yeah art is great and uh, the, but i think we should all do like more art or create more stuff because you can just set my mind on the thing you are doing so you are just right there in the mo moment and uh, great yeah. yeah i agree i love art and i love painting i'm not very good at it my sister actually used to be an artist so she draws and she's amazing i'm not that good at it but i love it and it's just so it's relaxing you feel creative and it's, it's really a nice bonding experience right with yeah. if you're painting with someone or even painting by yourself so yes yes and uh, i'm sure you are be better than you think you should just uh, do more <laughs> and uh, yeah. yeah, I'm better in abstract art. I love abstract art, but your paintings are incredible and I love the symbolism behind it, looking at the world around you. So talk to us about that concept and how you created it. Thank you so much. No, uh, well, I'm just try trying to like, I just think all of us should like, um, like a look beyond, you know, beyond what's right around us, like a look at the world. Uh, it's not something I did before but uh, the, the trip i did it re really like uh, made me think about the world and about how uh, you know how others live and uh, uh, just beyond your um you know be beyond your house and then um yeah and uh, you know it's just i'm just try trying to show like uh, if we look at the world and we think, okay, uh, this is your life, but then are others who are like very poor and life is like a big uh, zip code lottery, of course. And uh, I think we should all like appreciate what we have. And uh, um, well, if we are doing well in lives, I think we should try to like give back more as well and like uh, get uh, involved. And then uh, I think when we are like young, we have all those like, um, still this thing in your mind that I can change the world, I can do stuff. And then as we grow, we just focus on our own lives, just get on with them. And we kind of forget sometimes mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, we can still impact the world. We can still do small things, even small things we do. It can like change the life of others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I just want to show through my art, I want to show like, you know, that we are all equal, that we are all the same, no matter where we are born and how rich or poor we are, we are all the same and, uh, you know, we are all going to die one day. So yeah. just uh, love each other and be kind to each other. And uh, yeah, this yeah. is my, my yeah. thinking, yes. I 100% agree, you know, it's all about giving. You, for In order to be successful and to get things, you have to give. And I think the more people understand that concept that you can't be successful without giving or you can't have abundance mentally without really giving, you know, even if it's something as small as, you know, giving a smile to someone, it can change their day. So I completely yeah. agree with that. I wanna talk about your backpacking trip. Um, I know you went to Central America Asia, Africa, and as you said, it's changed your um, outlook on the world and inspired you. So I want to touch base a little bit on that and that experience, your trip, and what you learned from that. Well, I think I learned from that that you know, uh, it's it's more to the world than just what you know. There is more to it, and um, oh, the trip was great, and it was I seen some uh, nice places but uh, on top of that the main thing to me was the 
people I met is just uh, how grateful they were. Like uh, some of the countries I've been to, they've been so poor, like really poor. And they were still like, they had so much love in them and uh, they were just so keen to like share the small things they had. They were so keen to share them with you. And uh, uh, yeah, and the kids, the small kids, I love uh, the small kids and they were like, uh, you know, just so keen to be your friends and, um, uh, you know, like the ki kids here in the West, they don't really like appreciate so much what they have, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, they just get like, uh, you know, expensive things and, and the small kids that I mean, the small things you would give to them and they just cheered so much and it was just so great to see like, the, you know, how poor they can be and with that still so good and so happy and like sharing and it just made me think like you know we should share more because if you, you are like so poor and you still share then we should do more of that as well in the mm -hmm. west you know it's just been so good to meet them all and uh, there's a lot of uh, like um, times when I like uh, relied of the kindness of strangers as well so i've been stuck at a place or somewhere and then you know i just got helped uh, by some stranger which which was great just a great thing to like uh, meet uh, new people see what they think like uh, to see the perspective on life it's so mm -hmm. good yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. I've been to I've been to India. I've been to Mexico. I've been to so many um, poor places that I've seen, and it's true. People there are they're happier with less. So it just shows, you know, you know. I'm from North America, and here it's all about abundance. But you know, people are not necessarily happier. So it really shows that you don't need that much to be happy. No. You know, no. it's it's all in the mindset. So I completely agree with that. Let's talk about how that inspiration has translated into your artwork. You know, I, I really love your paintings with the large eyes and, you know, I like the eyes lie surprise, that concept <laughs> behind the painting. So let's talk about that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, the eyes, I mean, I did eyes since I was a kid. I mean, as, as a kid, the eyes were square. So I did like eyes like all my life, a bit of them. But then I came back from the trip and I thought um, a friend of mine uh, who does art as well. I mean, that's an important thing. He said to me, like, it's good to focus on a theme. So when you are do doing art, if uh, each piece of art, if someone can look at it and say, oh, that's yours. You have like like some kind of like a trademark there. So mine is the eyes, I guess. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you look at my art, I hope you can see. Okay, this is mine because that's the eyes. And uh, uh, yeah, it's just yes. what I do do now. The eyes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, your artwork is definitely very unique. I was lucky enough to receive one of your paintings, very large painting. And you know, when I was looking at it close up, it's so intricate and beautiful. Um, you really put a lot of detail and it's very unique. Those large eyed characters are very unique to you. And you definitely have a really unique, interesting style that you know anyone can notice. Let's talk about the inspiration when painting. What inspires you in painting your art? It's just like anything like, uh mainly my in inspiration comes from the people i meet so mm. each day i talk to some friends and uh, i just talk to them and then it it's like they say they say a thing and then i write it down and, and i think oh that's quite good and that could be like part of my art uh, on top of that it comes like with songs sometimes there is like songs on t tv and stuff and they say things like they they send some kind of message in the songs and then I think okay well that's a good good one and uh, it's something I could show as well in my art uh, I don't sing myself I mean I'm very bad at singing <laughs> so, but I just stick to paint, painting but uh, it just comes you know sometimes like on the street someone smiles at me and then it will change my day and think okay today I'm going to paint something happy and uh, it, just from all sorts, TV as well. Yeah. yeah, but lots of my inspiration came from the trip, from the trip I did and like, uh, 
yeah, from yeah. The, the kids, very much the kids, the kids are like, you know, they are still like very impure and like untainted by the like uh, expectation and the kind of hardships of the real life. So mm -hmm. I find it so inspir inspiring, yeah. Yeah. It's so true. Inspiration is all around you. You know, if you if you look for it and if you're grateful and you really look at the world with eyes open, like your paintings yeah. and your concept, you, you can find inspiration anywhere. So that's very true. Let's talk about your exhibitions. I know you have a ton of artwork in different exhibitions. New York is one of them. So let's talk about that and where people can view your artwork. Yes, so uh, this year I did a few. I mean, some got obviously postponed or canceled. Mm -hmm. So. That's a shame and, you know, when they go on, there are, you know, restrictions in place. So it's not that great, I guess, for art, but uh, but I still did a lot this year. I, I did some exhibition in London and um, some in New York. And um, uh, there is a few coming up next year. Uh, tonight, my art is in a museum in Puerto Rico. Um, so I'm trying to like expand a bit uh, uh, soon, like, uh, so far, I've been just trying to do like New York, London, Paris, like the great uh, mm -hmm. art destinations, I guess. But uh, my aim is to like, my goal is to go to smaller towns as well or, or the countries like uh, that are not like, like uh, really known for art, just to show my art, you know, in all sorts of places and uh, uh, to bring art like to smaller towns as well. But um, so I got a... Uh, um, exhibition in Paris uh, next mm. month in uh, Jan January so that's uh, still on hopefully and um, then I got one in Nice in um, wow. April and then I got a solo show like a um, big place just for my art I guess yeah. in Madrid and wow. uh, in New York next year as well but I do hope to like do some more like you can look at my website i keep like the exhibitions like a tab updated all the time so because it does change sometimes the dates change of the exhibitions now because of the pandemic obviously sometimes they, they get uh, postponed so i get that updated so you can see there i mean what's new on, um, now but i do hope to add some more like uh, smaller towns mm -hmm. also uh, closer like nearby me in scotland as well Scot Scotland, I think so far uh, there's been so much, there hasn't been so much of my art here because um, I think it's still a bit more like traditional here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they do like a bit of like more like landscapes and uh, you know, the things I don't do. So I do like New York for art because uh, just because they are so progressive there mm -hmm. and do like my art and it's uh, just so well received there. But uh, I just would like to like expand and let more uh, pe pe people see my art, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love that, that you're, you know, you're getting your artwork out there. I was speaking to a publicist actually from New York. Um, her name was Anne. And when I mentioned your name, she's like, yes, I know Bully. So she, really? know, people, yeah, so people know your artwork oh and, you know, because it's unique and, and you're putting it out there. And I love that. And I want to talk about, you know, we have a lot of young professionals and entrepreneurs that watch this show. And I think it's really important to see people like you through this pandemic who have, you know, kept your business going. You haven't stopped. Um, I'm sure you had, you know, moments that you were maybe uninspired, but you kept going and you, you kept your business flowing. So let's talk about one challenge you faced this year and how did you overcome it? Well, I did, uh, I did face a lot. I mean, uh, uh, when I first started with my art, I mean, my art full time, I mean, I did art my whole life, but I had a job on top of my art mm -hmm. before. Right now for me, it's just my art. But I think the big thing for me was to just, uh, to just, uh, you know, do my art and just not work on top of it. And mm -hmm. I think it's it just so scary at first, you know, like financially, yeah. uh, because you don't know how things are going to go. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, uh, plus to start something by yourself, I, it's just, you know, it's a big yeah. thing and scary thing and you don't know how, uh, how things are going to be received. And uh, so I think you should just uh, believe in yourself. I mean, that that's a big thing. I mean, I do, I, I do like my art. I do like what I do. And uh, 
I just, you know, it. You can't be loved by everyone, obviously. But I be, be, believe in what I do, and I think if you do, then you are going to succeed. You know, it's yeah. just, and uh, there is going to be like downfalls on the way. Like, um, you know, uh, I had uh, issues like with um, Instagram account yeah. last month got hacked, so yeah. I got quite stressed because that was. You know, these days it's 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 a big thing, like a online thing. It's like a main main like mm-hmm. a place I connect with the world, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so I got quite stressed with that, and then I just uh, you know contacted the chat support, and oh, it took days and days to sort it out. But I did go through it. But yeah. there are some things that come in your way, and you think oh no, this is the end of the world, like it's so bad at the time, but if you like, uh, it's all about the mindset, I think. If you think, okay, I'm go- going to get through it, it's going to be fine, let's make a plan how mm-hmm. to sort it, then you can sort it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Yeah. I, I 100% agree. You know, I was just thinking of this concept yesterday, you know, you know, during the pandemic, everyone's been a little bit low and you have two options. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad and the, the energy is the same. So, you know, yeah. it, it's just a matter of training your mind to see the good in everything. I want to talk about one thing you're grateful for um, in 2020. Oh, I'm grateful for, um, well, this is the first year I did actually go out um, online. I mean, uh, before I, I still did show my art, but I wasn't like um, online much uh, mm-hmm. apart from private Facebook accounts just uh, because I, I'm I'm quite shy and mm-hmm. I kind of keep low pro- profile and uh, so that's been a big thing for me to like uh, start uh, actually Instagram account that like uh, anyone can go and see like me yeah. and my art and it's been like really really a uh, big thing for mm-hmm. me to start that mm-hmm. and it's just the support I got it's been so great I mean I, I get such a great engagements and um, there is like a folk who ju- just send me things like oh it's so good and you cheer me up your art cheers me up and I'm just so grateful to hear that because this is what keeps me going like mm-hmm. uh, if uh, you know Obviously, my art is not going to be loved by everyone, but the ones who do, I mean, they are just so great just to support me and to make sure I know how much they like it. And, you know, just just so just so great. And I made so many friends there, so many connections. So it's been very, very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. I love your account. I love your artwork and I love your energy. You're always smiling and have a great energy about you. So I think that's been part of your success. Let's talk about where people can purchase your art. Well, I guess the best thing is to contact me, I guess, because, um, uh, because uh, I, you know, all the art uh, that's, uh, that's avail- available is there uh, with me. And, uh, on top of that, obviously, it's on Artsy, which is like a fine art website. Mm-hmm. So it can be viewed there, some art is there. So, um, yes, only thing is, you know, of course, if you go via gallery or a place, obviously, they take commission. So, you know, it's chi- cheaper to go via me. But yes. uh, yeah, yeah. but. Uh, also, um, I'm with uh, Vanderplas Gallery in New York, so mm-hmm. they show some of my art there. So it can it can be bought via there as well. Um, uh, there is also a place in Madrid, um, mm-hmm. so that's a Wilco Gallery. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Amazing. yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, People like to like um, see your art first, obviously, before they buy. So mm-hmm. that's why, you know, it normally sells most when I show it somewhere and then they look at it and then buy it. Mm-hmm. Uh, because like online, I don't think it just gives it full justice when you see a piece of art online mm. because it looks like, you know, it looks like small and it's like yeah. it's not the same. So, yeah. Yes. Well, I can attest to your artwork being beautiful. As I said, I received your artwork and it was amazing. And I, 
Yeah, I, I really do. I really like your artwork. I think it's really unique. And um, congratulations on all your success, Boli. Thank you so much for taking the time to be on the show today. And I wish you all the prosperity and success and happiness and health in 2021. Thank you. Thank you. And to, to you too. Thank Have you. Thank you so much. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.